also have new uh, toys since the last video. Powerland special. Um, so I can see what I'm doing. Um, little tripod for when I'm underneath the car. And finally! Ah, it only took two months, but yeah. And it's not even a reusable one, but beggars can't be choosers at this time, can they? I want a new microphone, so hopefully this sounds better. see face is all full of muck from underneath this car um the drill is getting quite hot so um like to a point where it's actually quite difficult to hold it um so i'm giving it a break for a moment and actually um i can't really do a lot more tonight uh, as i shoot this because um got other th bits and pieces to do um but I just want to, I want to show you 
more or less why I'm going to the lengths of um, brushing all the the rubber anti corrosion. I think that came from the factory. Um, so I'm going to show you that under here now. So you, so you can see what's going on. Um, every so often I have to um, brush off, you know, brush this off. See, because a lot of crap comes off it, is you, you know, if you see. You know, so it's not great. So I'm thankful that I've got that, um, well, I've got a working hoover. You wouldn't know it. Um, but this is under, this is what you get underneath it. If I can find a screwdriver. You know, all this is fairly hard. And there is some bits where it's lifting. Um, you know, and around here. This is the, the finished product. Um, it's not to get it back to bare metal on the underside. Um, although in places where like I went a bit too long with the the wire wheel, um, I'm exposing paint. So I think at least in terms of the floor pan, um, I will strip it back. Well, I'll sand it as much as I can back to bare metal where it needs it. Um, other areas like here. We still got some paint, um, no crack, no cracks in the paint well like that. Um, just leave it as it is, and I can put the uh, rubber coating on. But underneath, if I just now, if I didn't do it, you would be hard pressed to see bits like that. I haven't done, I haven't exposed this with the with the wire wheel, with the wire brush, sorry. Um, there was stuff around it, like, you know, this usual stuff. Um, but I cleared all of it off, and you're left with bits like this, where, obviously, throughout the, the life of the vehicle, stones have been coming up, and that's what will end up happening. So, but, you know, it's hiding behind all this crap. So that's why I'm... Um, and going through it and um, burning out drills and things like that just so that I know for definite that underneath here is solid because there's no point in going into all of the, the, hard, the hard work even so far to then find out when it goes to an MOT that oh yeah there's a week you know it's it's falling apart underneath, under something that um, I didn't see. So that's the plan, and that's what I'm doing it for. I want to talk to you about PPE, if I can for a moment. I bought these glasses, well I found these glasses, um, and I've been wearing them while I've been standing underneath. Problem is I have to keep stopping every so often because the, the crap, as you can see, I think you can see a little bit, it's just that fine crap that comes from the under underside of the car keeps getting into my eyes, because they get into the, you know, they don't wrap around the, 
the eyes. So I then found these because I thought, you know, um, same thing again. Um, the mask, which I'll just get here. Yeah, because the mask keeps pushing that off. So what I should have are these types of um, uh, safety goggles, which I don't have, and I've looked online and I can't find them. Um, so the wife says, suggests her sister-in-law might have some for chemistry. So I'll go around and she can't find them. Um, so this is what I end up with instead. Don't look pretty, but they'll do if oh, they're really uncomfortable. I hate swimming anyway. Oh, Jesus. Um, so, yeah. So they'll keep the the crap out. Um, yeah. I, I, I look sexy. Might have a bit of a party now. Yeah. So, yeah. Lost all my hair. Fell over some sheep shears. Um, I have two days off um, at the moment, um, which I hope to be spent on this. Um, I've had a week off as well because um, in the last clip you saw, all that crap was coming off and uh, it went down my ear, which was lovely, um, which caused a lot of pain. So uh, I'm over that now and I have bought some... Well, I didn't buy some, I found, found some ear defenders. Um, so when I'm back under the car, um, I, I wear them. Uh, but right now, if I show you what I'm doing now. So we're going underneath, finishing off where I left off, really. Um, I've already been under here uh, a few days ago. Didn't record it. Um, but right there, like that thing, um, that's the brake line. I need to get rid of that. Um, just so that the uh, what do you call it the um, the angle grinder and the the drill don't catch it, then clean up all of this. I need to take that out as well. That's the headlight. So it means obviously you can see there. That's access to the headlight. Just show you that thing. Um, it's accessed under the um, the front wing. Um, I've got two, well, we saw in the previous video. We've got replacement uh, head headlights, um, which point in the right direction for um, right-hand drive vehicles. Well, yeah, so as you can see, got new ones of them. So taking them out is not going to make a blind bit of difference. Um, now I've got to, um, that's the brake, brake master cylinder. As you can see, there's no, um, I don't even know, so is it servo? Booster anyway, like the big black drum thing that you usually find. Um, this might, this is probably going to go anyway. So um, there's obviously more power uh, want to be able to stop um, in an appropriate manner. Um, so this line here is the, um, the driver's front left uh front left brake so that's the one that we're gonna have a problem with that one um as you can see goes all the way over there as you can see right there that little so that i want to loosen that off as well just um so it's easy to do when we go over there um and then this light here that goes to the back and um you may have seen it already where it just splits off into two. Um, I'll spray it with some penetrating fluid anyway. Um, I think it's full, actually. This is, I think this is the top one yet. As you can see, two, two lines. Hmm. Bit phallic. There's some in there, but it's not a lot. Um, don't know whether I keep that. Uh, I think that's the clutch. That will go. Yeah, it's 
the clutch. That's the clutch master cylinder. The line goes there and around there to where the gearbox is. Alright, so. Spray that. Sorry. Spray that. And then we can get going with the cleaning. Um, just want to say as well that if you're following along at home, I have absolutely no idea why you are. Um, the nuts on the the brake cylinder, uh, the brake lines, and the master cylinder are rounded. Um, are ten mil. Uh, right. No, I don't want that. Left. So. What we have here is um, the back of the um, the headlight housing. So your so the headlight. Uh, I'll put four in. I already took one before I cut, took it out. Um, goes in there. And there's a spring because for some reason. Although, I was probably to keep that in, I don't care, I'm not building another one. Um, let's take that out. Um, I, might, I think, to be honest, it might, might be just that little bit past saving. Sorry, um, as I was filming this, these came. Rarer than hen's teeth at the moment. Um, however, the mask hasn't turned up. So that's about as useful as hen's teeth at the moment. But yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, doubtful that can be reused. And um, the same sort of at the moment is looking the same for um, the front wing. If I can just squeeze. So, you want to have a look in there? There should be a gap there, but I'll show you that in a sec. But this is... There was a hole. Ah, right, there we go. I think... That's gone. And that's definitely gone because... Can't actually get that out. The, um, that should be attached in there, I think. Well, I shouldn't say any of it because the other one is at the moment, but that tab's corroded off. So that would mean all new front front balance of the car because that's come on, yeah. So. Um, so I'm going to get it out though because obviously the, that's part of the front this, I thought this was part of the front wing for front wing for a moment but it's not um, this is all front this is the wing you know and if it's, if it's small things like that he says I think I'll be ordering a new wing, uh, which is annoying, but we'll carry on cleaning anyway. 
Ya. Yeah. Mm. I would have finished. And I look like an action man. Not bad, is it? I'll show you the progress. So, that's underneath the passenger side. All of that, that arm is rotten. Or it's, it's, a kind of, it's the same as it was, but we found out over there. There we go. Right. Basically where that uh, petrol can is. Um, where is petrol can is pointed? As you can see, it's, um, it's well gone. However, the floor on this side is slightly worse as well. Um, there's a few pinhole. No, I think that's one. Pinhole there. Um, so I may, I might have to look into just changing the whole floor on this side. Um, for the sill, the sill is quite well. It's bashed in more than more than anything, but you can see that the rust has started. So I think I have. I think oh, look, as you can see from my viewpoint on the floor. I think of two of them, and I think they're for this side. I don't know. Well, actually, number one, I don't know what that. Well, something there will go on here. That's all you need to know. The door here is very bad. So again, I might get a new. Well, really, it's only from there down that's really bad. Same with this one. That one's too bad. Um, toss it all the way back. Um, that's just a bit bent and damaged, but it's, it's fairly solid. All that is fairly solid. Underneath the passenger. passenger. Here is passenger. Um, the rear wheel well. And you know what? It's all right, actually. It's, it's fairly, fairly straight from what I can see. Um, until you get to there, and you can already see that there's been a patch. Uh, there's already been somewhat fixed on there, and I've made a proper bodge of it. Um, oh, no. It's quite awkward to film this on this. So you can see here. All of this part of the of the the arch is filler. That's rusted away, but I've got a replacement panel for that. The blue the boot floor I'm not overly fussed with because obviously we've got structural bits at the front, so I wanna get them wanna get it structurally sound before I start messing about with boots. But you can see over there in the distance is where the spare wheel goes and we're not i'm not going to put a spare wheel thing on that that's just going to be um where the battery goes so i'm going to take that out well, anyway so uh, so all in all i'm going to get up we'll try to get up anyway so one sec so what we have What we now know is that the um, the front wing, driver side wing is, I think it's no point in even trying to do anything with that. I think it's, personally I think it's gone too far, but I'm gonna have another look off camera just to see, see what the crack is. Um, the driver side, the passenger side wing seems that it looks a lot better, which is good. The front valance definitely is changing. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a new one of them. Um, door skins, the rear driver side is poor, really is poor, um, might even be worth just trying to get a, a new door if I can, um, we'll see, um, I, otherwise I can just sheet metal, 
because there's no curves or anything where the, the rust is affecting those doors, especially like the two passenger doors. There's no um, no compound curves or whatever. So like you know, it'd be straight enough. Um, that but well type of weld that you get the sheets of gold underneath and then you do a seam. Well, I don't know. Um, I don't even have one of them things, so I'd have to find about how to go around doing that. Um, the front, I don't know what you call them, but obviously I'll, that thing. Both sides is gone. More so on the passenger side than on the driver's side. Um, so that need they need that'll need attention. Um the front of the car, the front suspension towers look alright. Um no, rewind. The passenger side looks alright. The driver side looks like it's been shot. Um so that'll need that require patch of welding. Um I think that uses the same thing as steel as the bits that are gone underneath the car, um, on the front floors. So I might just buy a section of that steel and fabricate that up myself. Maybe, I don't know. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, the, the passenger side, there's a few, few pinhole marks or rust spots. Um, which made me think that actually might just be easy just to take that whole section floor out and weld another one in. Um, the, the driver side is only just that section on top of that um, brace support thingy bump. Um, so I can do that myself, I've got sheets still for that. Um, yeah, 44 years, age, years of age. Not, not bad. I mean, come on. Oops, sorry. I should, I should really sort out the thing. Um, it's not bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it there now. I need. Um, I wouldn't even want to know what my hair, what it would have been like if I had left my hair as long as it was. Um. So yeah, I will leave it there. And um, thanks once again for watching. Any questions, comments, helpful tips, um, leave in the, the, the comment section below. Um, yeah, good.